Prostate cancer and breast cancer actually have a lot of similarities. In the testicle, testosterone converts to estrogen. And when you're younger, this conversion doesn't happen as easily, which may be why prostate cancer is a lot more rare at young ages. As you get older, that conversion of testosterone to estrogen happens more readily, which may be why if you go into a TRT clinic and you're male of a certain age, they'll likely give you an estrogen blocker, which further proves my point. So with age, progesterone and pregnenolone start to decline. Those oppose estradiol, so you need sufficient amounts. And then what also happens is thyroid hormones start to decline which can further lower progesterone. And then what also happens is your prostate itself starts to atrophy. That can happen through the aging process. You know, it starts to deteriorate, which further makes you more sensitive to the hormones, specifically the unopposed estrogen. It might be interesting to note that when they've looked at semen of prostate cancer patients, they often have elevated estradiol levels. We are actually seeing some men right now and doing some really innovative things for their testosterone with peptides and seeing really good results.